What you see here is a glimpse to our very, very near future. The thing is that in the days of advances of AI, if you think about something futuristic, it's probably already there somewhere. Maybe not in its complete form as it probably wanted to be, but we are getting there and very, very fast. Now, this is an app called Try3D available on each I.O. Uh, and uh, this is um, AI object generation for MetaQuest. Basically, you can generate everything like you do, for example, with Midjourney, where you generate images. Here, you're going to generate 3D models. And yeah, you can type basically anything. All right. And it will generate a 3D model. It's a low quality 3D model. Of course, uh, higher quality 3D models are achievable, but they're, of course, cost much more. And just so you know, there's also option to generate even animations and stuff, but not in this particular app. This is also an augmented reality app. There's no, I mean, I tried. It doesn't basically respect the boundaries of the mixed reality scan, depth scanning that I actually, I mean, I did. So if I wanted to put something underneath the table, it won't actually appear underneath the table. So it's just virtual content floating over the video feed. Now you need to imagine, of course, much more than that. Being able to just, for example, talk and uh, and position anything around you and replace even real physical content with visual one, overlay it, remove it, erase real world object. Like, can we erase the screen, for example, there? Not in this app, but just imagine and replace it with something else. Being able to generate maybe a person that does animation that automatically adapt to explain to me how to, for example, disassemble my laptop, but it's going to do this in real time, an AI character that's also be animated and also reconstruct my laptop, open it virtually and show me exactly what I need to do. But just playing with the virtual content, a replica of the virtual content of my computer by eliminating some parts of it or showing some parts so I can actually do that, do this right in front of me. Now, again, not in this app as well, but also having some understanding of the environment and being able to actually inject virtual content in different ways to actually edit the environment even completely is going to be mind blogging. And this will be used by many, many apps uh, in the near future when it comes to mixed reality. AI and mixed reality intertangle together to bring some amazing experiences. This is all we're going to blow up once we go outdoors. Right? Indoors, it's still, we have lots of options, but it's still limited. When you go outdoors and be able to do that and change an entire world around you, that will be a revolution. When your headset is going to be more glasses at that point, can recognize everything around you, right? And you can actually inject high quality 3D models that look totally realistic anywhere, everywhere. Of course, in respect to real world physical object, because again, they're going to be a replica of the world, it's going to blow your mind away. The thing you can do with it is just endless. So again, all right, back to the app. So we can see here, just I'm just typing things uh, and they appear. I can actually uh, interact, I think with the pivot point of the center of the object, I can just grab it with my pinch and actually resize it, uh, the, uh, the size and pin position, uh, move it from one place to another. I can actually save the scene as well and load it. Keep in mind, there are some quite a lot of polygons uh, being generated. Uh, so again, at some point, of course, I felt that way. This is too much. My frame rates, even the Quest 3 uh, start suffering from it. Yeah, it's still low resolution, uh, but again, when you put quite a lot of them, uh, it's going to show, especially when you have very complicated uh, 3D objects, like you see here, generated by the AI. So all your advanced phones and everything, it's just kind of uh, like an old 80s cassette players. Uh, I, I see it even right now because the tech moving so fast. And it doesn't take long, won't take long. I mean, compared to the advances of tech in the past, that we will see uh, things that we just see that you know this this is the future coming to us relatively very soon. So in interesting to see how basically companies uh, like Meta and Apple kind of laying the foundations of what the special computing OS uh, should be like. But I can promise you that even then, uh, can really see that far to the future. So it's going to go with tons of iterations, uh, like never seen before, because it's really a very, very fast emerging technology that things change rapidly every single day. You can see here that I got a bit hungry and I just wanted to make some food. So I made myself an ice cream. Uh, yeah, imagine when you can just generate something like that and just take and eat it. It'd be amazing, isn't it? 
so basically you can see that I try to generate different things to see the accuracy and the complexity and how accurate it is. And uh, yeah, it was actually very good considering of course the resolution limitation and stuff. But look at that, look at the stick. I mean, seriously, that actually is very good. Seeing all these textures, that, that was actually quite surprising to be honest. I mean, especially if you take it and lower the resolution a bit, it doesn't, don't extend it. It looks really nice. So again, it's all about lots of computations done in the server uh, to bring this to life and then you download the 3D model. So just imagine, of course, if, it, if the app did something higher like that, it would cost a lot, by the way, at least for the developer side to make something like that, uh, going for, you know, high resolution 3D models, let alone with animations. But again, just as an app that, you know, you can buy for cheap just to try things out and of course the cost for managing the servers. Uh, this is just an incredible job to really kind of... Uh, bring AI, generative AI and 3D models together to use this to try out. I mean, I did try some apps in the past where I needed to, uh, let's say, create an API and, and, and open account and subscribe and put my credit card and everything just to be able to uh, interact with certain APIs that were actually paid for it. So uh, here, it just straight on, you install the app and you get the results. Seamless. Perfect. Uh, also, just so you know that um, I played the Figment XR. This is not again uh, the Try 3 d app, right? This is not this Figment XR on the Quest 3. And basically I was creating things with it. And I asked myself why they actually haven't implemented a generative AI feature. I mean, you need to connect to, uh, of course, there. it's really nice to have being able to connect to high quality 3D models that other creators have created. But again, you need to create an account or something like that. This is like a uh, Figment XR app is just the perfect one to actually introduce generative AI to because again, you can really have high degree of control of so many things around you, but it doesn't exist. At least as of the time of making this video. Or maybe it just popped up yesterday? Nah, I don't think so. I actually tried the app a few days ago. And I haven't mentioned yet the insane potential and actually essential use of generative uh, AI content for creating um, procedurally generated games that will happen in the real world and actually adapt to our surrounding based on the understanding of the scene. Basically, games in mixed reality using AI that completely adapts to everything around you. There's going to be a huge thing, by the way, in the future. A huge thing. And this is just really the core basics of all that thing. So again, in this particular app, you're going to see it as a standalone. Again, we are back to the original app uh, and you can play with it, try it out. It's really fun. Just focusing on the core, you know, just generating your type. It generates. It doesn't do a lot here. Hopefully more features will be added because again, if you want something more complete, can be even more amazing, especially respecting the mixed reality boundaries uh, and maybe able, maybe some animations and maybe some physics. Well, we, maybe I'm asking too much, but... If you really want to kind of have fun with generative AI uh, and want to try something with 3D models in mixed reality, that's a fantastic app to try. Cheap on each IO, definitely worth it. You don't need to be to add anything and API keys or anything. You just load it uh, and just give it a go. That's how simple it is. And I'm just having a blast uh, using it. So make sure to check it out. I'm going to link to it in the description of this video. Um, and have fun with it. And thanks for the developer for providing me uh, access to the app. I even I didn't even know it existed. And you know, thank you, thank you so much.